Hey guys, Demon here, bringing you a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. And if you can't tell, I'm going to be playing some Kill Confirmed on one of the new maps. I don't even know what this map is. What does it say there? Outpost, I think? Yeah, Outpost. Sorry guys, I'm still kind of learning the maps. I don't even recognize them right off the top of my head. Uh, awesome game. First impressions. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, sniping, as you can see, I am sniping again in Modern Warfare 3, even though I am still rocking the two-bar uh, I'm still available, or not available, able, be a more proper word, I'm still able to snipe effectively. This is the L11, uh, very similar to the uh, L96 from Black Ops, uh, definitely a very good sniper rifle. My personal favorite is the Remington, or the MSR, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is unlocked uh, it's the last unlock. Uh, that's definitely going to be my favorite sniper rifle. I, I messed around with it in the private matches when I was doing some tutorials. Uh, love that weapon, and I'm looking forward to unlocking it. Not actually sure if I'm going to prestige or not, because you really don't get anything for it other than those prestige tokens. As you can see, playing some Kill Confirmed, I really do like this new game type. To me, it's a lot of fun. It's something different. I'll probably bounce around between this, Domination, and Search and Destroy most of the time, just to kind of mix it up. Uh, I'm probably going to hop on, play some Search and Destroy, actually, while I get done recording this and it's rendering. I haven't actually played Search and Destroy in Modern Warfare 3 yet, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I just failed, failed on the snipe right there, but don't worry, guys, it picks up. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, to me, it's not the, it's not the best gameplay, but considering I've only played the game for maybe three hours total, <laughs> it's not really that bad. Um, not the best gameplay, but still not bad either. Uh, just kind of getting a feel for the maps, getting a feel for the sniping, getting a feel for the connection. As you can see, I'm rocking the Slide of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and uh, Marksman Pro, I believe is what I got on there. Uh, if they're not pro in this video, they're pro now. But that's probably more than likely going to be my sniping setup. Uh, in order to snipe effectively in this game, you pretty much almost have to have Quick Draw Pro, or Quick Draw for that matter. Because of the fact that the weapon damage is so high. Uh, honestly, you really don't get very many hit markers as far as sniping goes. But, you know, a couple bullets from an assault rifle are going to put you down. You die relatively quickly in this game, uh, which I actually think is a good thing. Um, they bumped it up a little bit. Um, and modern, or they bumped it up a little bit in Black Ops from Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2 had the stopping power, right? Um, so to me, this is kind of like permanent stopping power, if not even uh, a little bit more stronger than what the stopping power was in Modern Warfare 2. At least that's how it feels to me. I haven't looked at like all the exact numbers yet or anything like that, but the damage is definitely a little bit higher. And excuse the dog barking in the background. And I'm not going to re-record over it because I don't care because you guys know me and you love me, hopefully. Or you hate me. Some people do watch my stuff just to hate. But uh, the thing is, is that this game is awesome. I'm really enjoying playing it. Uh, I can't wait to put a lot more time in it. been really busy with work this week because, I mean, hey, you know, all these kick-ass games are coming out, right? we got Modern Warfare 3, um, Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, Saints Row, a whole bunch of stuff coming out next week. So, you know, with all these kick-ass games coming out means it's going to be busier for me. One of the downfalls of working in the gaming industry, I guess. But I'm trying to get some playtime. I'm getting some tutorials up for you guys. I'm still trying to find a trick shot. Uh, a new trick shot, for that matter. I could do. I got a trick shot tutorial lined up. I just don't know if I want to post it because it's all stuff that's been done prior. It's just on Modern Warfare 3. And I don't want to feel like a, uh, a view whore. You know, even though I know you guys really enjoy my tutorials and you want to see them, and most of you probably learned something from them, uh, there, you know, a lot of the stuff is already out there on YouTube for past Call of Duties, and it, it's nothing new. I like to put out new stuff, and uh, I haven't really found anything yet because of the fact that sniping is so similar to Modern Warfare 2. It's very, it's like a mix between Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 Modern Warfare. So. As far as that goes and the trick shots, it's really hard to find something unique because people have been doing it for so long. Uh, still working on it though. I'm not going to give up. I will find something. Um, I kind of found something. I don't know how great it is. Look at this fail. This BS lag fail. So, moving right along. As you can see, the, uh, the pistols in this game are very much up to snuff. The secondaries are quite useful for a change, unlike Black Ops, where the secondaries absolutely were terrible. 
and you can see the let the latency right there on my shot uh, still got them all though but you can see the latency on the shot unfortunately uh, from me sniping to uh, him falling for that matter but you know that is that is the life I live with my connection hopefully be moving soon now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my tutorial and this is a longer commentary than what maybe some of you are used to I haven't really posted a nine minute commentary in a long time and I, I felt that I need to I felt that I needed to because I haven't talked to you guys in a while you know I've been so busy with the tutorials and work you know I'm just kind of uploading what I can and I've kind of neglected on the commentaries but what was I gonna say now I forget oh yeah the tutorials that's right we were talking about the tutorials and <clears throat> excuse me talk about the tutorials and one of the things about it was you guys didn't like the spawn tubes uh, I got quite a few dislikes and a lot of people were like please don't do spawn tubes some people say please do um, the th the reason I included the spawn tubes is because you guys begged me for the direct impact spawn tubes in black ops but apparently you guys don't like them when they blow up <laughs> so uh, I'll leave them out from now on if uh, you guys want if you guys want the spawn tubes be sure to let me know in uh, comments of the tutorials and I'll see what I can do. I'll still do the direct impact if I can find one. Those are actually quite difficult to find, believe it or not, the direct impact noob tubes. So uh, I'll definitely work on that. Uh, throwing knives, uh, not too uh, not too difficult, at least for uh, the first map. Uh, didn't really have too much uh, difficulty adjusting from throwing knife to, uh, or from tomahawk to throwing knife for that matter. Distant, once I got the distance down, I was good to go. The throwing knife actually has less of a travel distance than the tomahawk. So, uh, it just took me a little bit to get that down pat and learn it. Because uh, you would think it would be the other way around. You would think that the, uh, the throwing knife would have more range than the tomahawk, which is unfortunately not the case. So, uh, once I got the distance down, I didn't really have any problems as far as... Uh, finding the spots and the tutorials there's just no banks now with the uh, with the throwing knife bomb spots though with the throwing knife bomb spots uh, there is no camera spike anymore so there's a portable radar unlocked closer to the closer to the end of the game and you can use that to judge when they are there it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're not going to actually see them pick up the bomb so I don't want to say that there's going to be luck involved, but uh, once you see them settle in, you see them come on your radar, give them a couple seconds, see them settle in um, on the bomb, on uh, on the radar, then I would go ahead and throw it, and you probably pick them off, you know, because at that point, if they if they come onto the radar and you see them stand still for a second, they're probably diffusing at that point, so uh, that'd be a good time to go ahead and throw your throwing knife, you know, and unfortunately you may miss. Uh, and, it, you know, that's going to be the downfall with throwing knives in Modern Warfare 2 versus, or excuse me, in Modern Warfare 3 versus uh, the Tomahawks and Black Ops. And as you can see, these, uh, the dual wield machine pistols are rocking pretty hard. Uh, there's a lot of close quarters uh, in Modern Warfare 3. There really are, even though the maps can be somewhat large at times, or it seems, there's really not a lot of wide open spaces or lines of sight. So the close quarters, I think, are what they use to kind of uh, hinder snipers just a little bit. As you can see, if you get a little bit of distance, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. That's going to be, uh, I think that's the end of it right here. I'm going to pick up this last one and it's game over. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's going to be the end of it. Went 22 and 11 and kill confirmed. Not too bad of a score, especially for sniping in this game type. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash democops. I'll have the link in the description as always. And uh, stay tuned for more tutorials and more commentaries. This is Damon, and I'm out. Peace.